Hi, this is Shana with Against the Grain Homestead. Today I'm going to give you a garden tour. And please consider subscribing and also make sure you click that notification bell so you'll get notified when we post new videos. So let's get started. First, let's start off with our small little orchard. So right here, we have two plum trees. Underneath some of the fruit trees, we have different things planted. So this is cat mint and it's planted around this plum tree. This is catnip. It's planted around this one. To the right of the plum trees, we have two apple trees. So this one and that one. Around this one is planted spearmint. Right down there. And then to the right of the apple trees, we have two peach trees. Base of this peach tree, we have peppermint. And the base of this one, we have chocolate mint. And then to the right of the peach trees, we have two fig trees. We put these in last year. So there's that one and this one. This one's pretty small. Last year, they actually produced some figs. Um, that is our small little orchard here. And then we have our herb garden down there. A flower bed down there. Hi, Chief. Chief, come here. Chief, come here, bud. Hey, bud. Okay, so here is our herb garden. Okay, so we have... It's full, as you can see. There's quite a bit of lemon balm. It's kind of intermingled here. So here's some lemon balm. And then back here, here's some lemon balm. There's some that's already gone to seed. So it kind of meanders back there. Right here we have quite a bit of oregano and it has flowered and some of it is already going to seed and has gone to seed. And then here we have our lavender. It comes back every year. We have a big mound of basil. Here's some sage and here's sage and there's more of it kind of mingled with the basil back there. It came back. And then we have parsley, and there is some more lemon balm. And these, this is um, chives. And then we have a pineapple sage that came back. It's kind of mingled around the lemon balm as well. More chives. And then right here, we have lemon thyme, and then regular thyme. So this is our herb garden, and everything besides the basil comes back. And well, and the parsley, you know, it drops seed, so it kind of comes back from seed. So this is our garden. It's in the backyard. We also have, you know, some different things elsewhere throughout the property, like an herb garden, orchard, flower beds, different random things. But first, let's come over here, and we're going to show you our, some things we have over here. This is our asparagus bed that we just put in this year. Um, so I've let the asparagus kind of fern out, go to flower, and it's starting to get some little seeds. And it's starting to get some little seeds because it's already flowered. Hey, you're not supposed to be in here. No. You're not supposed to be in the garden. No, you're not. Adrian, you're supposed to keep your girls out. Hey, out, out. Come on, come on. You too, out. Okay. Anyway, so we have some basil here and a couple different varieties of um, asparagus. And then right here, this is the start of our medicinal herb garden. Um, it looks kind of bad right now because I just transplanted some of these um, but I started all this from seed so there's our calendula we have a couple fever few and nasturtium chief you'll probably have to come in and get her out a uh, chamomile a st. John's wort an echinacea and then this is the marshmallow so the plan is with this medicinal herb garden we will expand it all the way over there 
See that cedar post by the elderberry bushes? About two tea posts over is all of this will eventually be the medicinal herb garden. And then over here, we have, so it looks kind of weedy, but it's not too bad. <laughs> but we have four uh, dirt mounds that we just put in, I think in May. Um, so this one here is a fall crop of green beans. And behind the green beans, we have some cabbage seeds planted. This one, this row down through here is kind of, it's several different things. So this one right here, this is our summer squash plant. We planted it in early July. Today is August 17th. So you can see here we have some summer squash growing. We've already harvested two. We have several little guys in here growing. And, just walk down this way. and then over here we have several um, kind of intermingled. There are some okra. And here's the, this is a cantaloupe plant. You can see we have, we have several flowers. But here's a little cantaloupe starting. It's a little growing. And there's another one. We have some more okra. Some more okra. And then we have a couple watermelon plants. You can see we have some watermelons. And there's some more elsewhere. Then we have some more okra. And this area right here, we have some green beans and some cucumbers and some uh, turnips right here. Okay. All right, and all of this that you've seen and everything you will see in the garden has all been started from seed directly in the ground, all except the pepper plants. So right here, we have a couple side-by-side -side row rows of potatoes in this hill mound. We have some russet potatoes in Red Norland. <laughs> That'd be a good one in the video. <laughs> Wish I'd caught that. <laughs> All right. All right, and then all down, all down this mound, most of it is okra. So I'm growing three different kinds of okra. Um, and then in between each type, each variety of okra, we also have a cucumber plant planted. So here's one cucumber plant. has several flowers and the ladybug. Um, this is a bush cucumber. Down here, you'll find a very young flower right here. His name is Max. Yep, that's what we call him. Not sure what he'll turn into. <laughs> and then over here we have another cucumber plant and it has I already harvested three cucumbers off of it yesterday and it oh wow and it has several more you probably I don't know if you can see them or not there's one there's some back there anyway it just has several flowers so it's going to be good. And all of this here, this is all our winter squash. It's our butternut squash. We really like butternut squash. I especially love it because I can store it for several months, you know, out in the open. And it stays. Um, we have battled with squash bugs, and I have a video on that if you're interested in knowing how we deal with that. Right now it has some downy mildew I've got to deal with. And then right here, inside, so this arched cattle panel trellis we put in this year as well. And on this side, <clears throat> we have a couple San Marzano tomato plants. And we've already harvested some of them. You can see there's another red one. But they're growing very well. They're very prolific. Um, I've already... Um, pruned the plant several times but if you can get in here like overhead we just have there are several and these are just two tomato plants 
and there's just they're producing very well very healthy and strong and vigorous but I started these from seed directly in the ground over here don't hit your head like I always do right here is the inside of our butternut squash again I'm dealing with downy mildew but it'll be okay it will anyway so we have um, you can see our butternut squash they're starting to get closer to brown they're not quite as green anymore so hopefully in a month they'll be ready to harvest and kind of in here in the bed there's different kinds of pepper plants and like I said pepper plants are the only things that I bought and it was not my intention to leave them in here it just you know how it is when you get busy they just stayed all right, and on this side, we have some green beans. So we have some pole beans. They're growing up and over. You can get an up and over shot. And we have some basil right here, more basil. We have basil several different places. And these two plants here, these are a Blinken heirloom tomatoes. Again, I started these from seed directly in the ground. There's several. We've already harvested some of them. These two, these are heirloom current sweet pea tomatoes. We've, this is like my snack when I'm outside working in the garden. And this is the other side of it. You can see the butternut squash has grown up and over. And here is a little hidden surprise. <laughs> That's a pretty fat one. And I've actually, they have some more blooms on them. And I've actually taken that one and moved it up so it's growing up that way again. So back on the way up here. Keep going. You want to get the whip of it. Ready? Okay. So this side... This half is purple potted pole beans, and they're heirloom. And this half, they are Kentucky Wonder pole beans. And then at the front of these, I have some Blue Lake bush beans. And at the front of this side, I have some tender green bush beans. Um, all the beans have been attacked. All the beans have been attacked by cucumber beetles. Uh, currently, some of them have bean blight. And the Kentucky Wonder has been attacked by Japanese beetles, as you can see from these lacy looking leaves right here. But I do have a video showing how we uh, worked on dealing with the Japanese beetles. And we have some new growth of those Kentucky Wonder pole beans. But I'll insert those videos. And the purple powder pole bean, um, it also was attacked by the leaf hopper. And then, and then right along here, this L-shaped wooden area, this is, this has some blueberries and rhubarb in it. We just put this in this year. Over here, just stay there. Over here is our native wildflower bed we put in last year. And you can come closer. You can see there's a butterfly. It looks like a painted lady on some echinacea right there. But, and there's some echinacea that's done. But this, you know, at its peak, it's just gorgeous. There's so many different colors. There's different kinds of daisies and black eyed Susans, echinacea, bachelor buttons, mullein, moth mullein, um, cosmos. I don't even know what else. Just a lot. And back here along this fence line, just stay. Along this fence line, um, these are blackberries. And our blackberry harvest is done. I've got to come out here and prune off the ones that have already produced. 
and kind of clean this up some. This is our strawberry bed, nothing impressive. And then right back here, these are our elderberries. We've already been harvesting some elderberries. And some of these are about ready to harvest also. You see them, they're just hanging on the drooping over far. And so that's this area. All right, so over here we have two of these long beds, as I call them. We put these in in 2020. So we already harvested everything, pretty much everything out of both of them. So right here we have my self-seeding uh, petunia flowers. Petunias are my favorite. Their smell is so strong and just amazing. Over here I have some carrots left to harvest. They're not quite big enough yet for me to harvest. Well, for in my opinion. Some of them I'm going to let stay in here throughout the winter. We might harvest on them in the winter, or I might just let them go to seed in the spring and collect the seeds. Um, we have a nasturtium, but earlier in the season, like the spring and early summer, we had, this was full of onions and garlic, and we had a big old patch of chamomile in here, as well as some potatoes and just a lot of different stuff. This bed right here, this bed right here, it was beautiful this spring and early summer. It was full of garlic and onion, all kinds of brassicas, such as broccoli and cabbage. Um, we had lettuce in here, just, I don't even remember, just tons of stuff. Uh, we had peas growing up this trellis. I have to plant it with more carrots and probably some more green beans here real soon, probably by this weekend I'll have this planted. Come in here and down here so if you look really close you'll see thousands of Japanese beetles covering this bed and we have a video on that that you might find interesting I actually have two videos on Japanese beetles and they kind of go together all right all right and then this bed here we made these beds we put these together um, I think in 2019 or I don't know sometime around there and I have a video showing how we did these, but this bed right here, this has some echinacea, it has St. John's wort, um, chamomile. Anyhow, so we actually have, there's four of these beds, but by next spring we're going to disassemble all four beds and consolidate them into one larger bed and put it in this area. That is our garden. I hope you enjoyed the tour. If you have any questions, just ask and please subscribe. Have a great day. Thanks.